Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a simple but cool looking zoom out effect on a background image. All right, guys, before we start, I do want to mention that I am using the Dracula theme just in case you're interested. It's absolutely free, so make sure you check that out. Let's get started here. We're going to create a container. And let's create another one within this one. And we're going to give this one a name of image. All right, let's get access to the container class and let's give it a width and height. So I'm going to go with these values just for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and change these to your liking. I'm also going to use overflow hidden. We don't really need this to make this trick work. I'm just adding this because I don't like how the scroll bar shows up on the right of the screen over here for no reason. All right, let's get access to the image class and we're gonna set the width to 100% and the height to 100%. So make sure that the outer container has the actual width and height that you want and the image class or the child class is always going to be a width of 100% and a height of 100%. So you're going to need to have this set up like this. All right now we're going to use background position center together with background size cover. And that's just going to make sure that the image fits perfectly inside of our div. All right, let's add the image with background image URL. And I'm going to go ahead and just Control V to paste the URL of the image that I'm using. If you want this image, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the URL. Otherwise, you can just use whatever image you want. All right, and we're also going to add a transition of 0.7 seconds. This is going to determine how quick the zoom out effect takes. So if you go higher, the zoom out effect is going to take longer to complete. Um, I think 0.7 seconds is good but I also would go with maybe like one second or even 1.2. I think anything higher or anything lower than this is either too slow or too fast. Now, the last thing we need to add is the hover effect. So the trick happens with transform scale and by default it's one. So if we hover this now, nothing's gonna happen. But even if we add a 0.1, the effect starts to take place but if you go with two for example then you really have it zoom out i don't really like it to zoom out that much so i like to stick to either like 1.1 or 1.2 just like this it doesn't have to be too uh, extravagant but once again that's completely up to you all right that's going to be it for this tutorial please hit the like button if this works for you and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching